Gen 2 is out for everybody now. It is a world of wonder, but also a world of blunder. But I still think you should try it because they have a free demo and free stuff is the best stuff. So let's talk about Gen 2 here. Let's talk about the good things here first. Now, as you can see with these examples here, the videos have a lot of consistency to them. So the elements stay the same throughout the different frames, even if they are moving throughout the video. And that is a really good thing. Another thing you can see here is that there isn't a lot of flickering or style change. Once the style is chosen, even though it might not be super awesome all the time, it's still sticks to that style, unlike a lot of the things you will see with the forum and with stable diffusion videos where you get a lot of flicker in the elements, but also stylistically. Another thing I find very positive here is that the shape of the room or the landscape stays the same throughout the video. And this is even true for camera movements, which you often have with these videos. And also the camera movements are often very nice and have this kind of cinematic vibe to them. So it has a lot of potential to create really cool and interesting videos. Another element that is pretty cool here is that the rendering is rather fast because it's running on their servers and doesn't require any of your own GPU power. Now let's talk a little bit about the negative sides here because as you have seen with a lot of videos, they don't have a quality that you can actually use in finished products. This is very experimental for the moment. Another thing here is that the videos are limited to only four seconds. The next element that is a bit of a downside and also for me personally a surprise is when you look at the interface, it is as simple as it can be. One thing you can do here, you can upload an image that gives an intention of the style you want to have and then Chan2 will take that style into consideration. There is only a text input and then you have a very short list of settings, mainly about interpolation, upscaling and removing the logo. But you don't have any control about what is happening in the video. Unlike, for example, in the forum, but also on other pages like Kyber, where you can adjust the camera movement to, for example, rotate to the side or roll the camera, zoom in and out of the scene. So you have a little bit more control of what is actually going on. This can also be used, for example, to sync the video to music with the forum, where, for example, it zooms in and out with the beat. But of course, that's not really of importance with Gen 2 because the video is only four seconds long, so not really much place for music anyways. This very reduced UI is a great example of what I talked about in my video yesterday about how AI is going to change. Because here, again, we have only text input and of course a little bit of inspiration from an image we can upload, but still the output is very random. You have very little control control over that. And so you can't artistically really create and follow your style, your vision, your ideas. Now, one of the big things that upsets a lot of people is the pricing. When you want to upgrade to get more minutes, you have to pay on the monthly subscription $15 a month and on the annual subscription still $12 a month. But this doesn't give you unlimited video creation or even a nice amount of video creation, you get 125 seconds of video per month. So that's a little bit over two minutes for a month. I do understand that things cost money to develop, but this is what investors are for, not customers. So personally, I don't feel like I should be charged to improve your product by testing it. It might be nice for early adopters, but at that stage, I rather use the forum, especially with control net, image to image render, batch image to image rendering and video input, where we have a lot more control over what is actually created. You have control over the camera movement. And with these new techniques like control net, there is a lot less flickering in the video also. So while the this technology of Chen Tu shows a lot of potential. I just don't feel it's right for payment right now.
Let me know in the comments what you think about Chen 2 and here are some additional examples from my community. Thanks for watching, leave a like and see you soon. Bye!